Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. Welcome to Nevada Newsmakers on the broadcast today. Christine Groh joins us. She's with the Coalition for Medicare Choices, here for the whole show on all new Nevada Newsmakers. Big R in Sparks is located on Bering Boulevard next to Smith's and across from Reed High School. It's a 50,000 square foot hardware store and a whole lot more. It's huge with clothing, power equipment, tools, and of course, hardware. Big R is located on Bering Boulevard in Sparks, next to Smith's and opposite Reed High School. Big R, hardware, and a whole lot more. Love and luck are in the air at Carson Valley Inn. $1,000 winners guaranteed every drawing night, up to $7,500 every Saturday, and $15,000 in grand prize giveaways Friday, March 31st. It's the Love and Luck giveaways at the Carson Valley Inn. As you know, Reno is booming. Toll's development company is helping it grow with insightful design and development, building community with every project, adding beauty, adding excitement, emphasizing our shared humanity. Reno is becoming bigger. Toll's development is helping it become better, more livable, more enjoyable. To learn more, go to tollsdevelopment.com, tollsdevelopment.com. Win some Leprechaun loot during the $75,000 all-cash Go Green giveaways. More than 150 winners in all. Find your pot of gold with $15,000 in weekly cash giveaways guaranteed. And $25,000 in grand prize giveaways, including a $15,000 cash top prize. It's a good time to win at Tamarack Casino. Nevada Newsmaker Studio is located at the headquarters of the Nevada Trucking Association. Motion and purpose are a truck's greatest virtue. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad, a no-holds-barred political forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers broadcast headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we're pleased to welcome to the program Christine Gross. She is with the Coalition for Medicare Choices. Pleasure to have you back on the program. Thanks so much for having me. So let's start out with something because, you know, I don't think that most people have a clue about what Medicare is until they hit the age where they qualify for Medicare and all of a sudden life changes dramatically for the better. I know lots of uh, business people that retired or were retired um, at age 60, for example, and were desperate to get a job, not for the paycheck, but to be able to pay for their health insurance, uh, just to get them to the point where Medicare came, kicked in. As somebody who is now on Medicare, even though I look 30 years younger than I should, um, it, it, it's been unbelievable. So would you explain, first of all, to, to, and I guess we're really addressing the children of people who are on Medicare, um, what, what, what the difference is with, between regular health care and Medicare? Sure, happy to. Um, so when you turn age 65, or if you're older, or if you have certain qualifying disabilities or illnesses, such as end stage renal disease, for example, you qualify for Medicare. And Medicare is a federal government health care coverage program uh, that uh, comes in different parts. Part A in med original Medicare covers hospitalization costs. Medicare Part B covers doctor visits. Medicare Part D covers prescription drug coverage. So you have to choose what you're going to enroll in. Uh, and then there may be premiums that you need to pay for just as you would with an employer plan. Uh, if you are lower income or otherwise qualify, you may qualify for some subsidies to help or supports to help you afford that coverage. I represent the Coalition for Medicare Choices, which represents seniors who choose Medicare Part C, which is also called Medicare Advantage. Uh, and that program covers a whole lot more than original Medicare. It covers things like dental vision and hearing benefits. Many of these plans in include and bundle in prescription drug coverage. They cover a lot of preventive care services, such as access to vaccines and screenings. Uh, they even may help to cover some services to overcome social barriers to better health, like transportation or, or maybe some medical foods that help you stay healthy if you have a particular health condition. Well, one of the things that's extraordinary, and just going back to original Medicare for a moment, um, is that um, when, when you get your bill, 
um, from your Medicare uh, company, there is a, the price that the doctors or hospitals charge and then the price that they've agreed to to pay according to Medicare. And the difference between the two in terms of Medicare being so much cheaper is just astonishing. And it certainly explains why so many politicians at least um, are in full throat to say we should have Medicare for all. Um, how do you explain the, the ability uh, for doctors and hospitals to provide these services at such a lower cost because of Medicare rather than what the regular person would pay if they walked in the door? And I'm talking $1,000 versus maybe $100 or less. Yeah, and, and I would not be able to speak to specifics of hospital pricing because I just don't have that insight. However, what I have heard a lot of the hospitals and doctors say is that the Medicare rates that are defined by the federal government simply aren't enough, or enough to actually cover the cost of their services. So one of the reasons that you may see you know, a, a Medicare price that's so much lower than what you might see in, in employer provided coverage, for example, is a sense of shifting the cost of what original Medicare doesn't cover. The hospitals and, and providers are going to employer provided coverage to help make up that gap. So that's one of the reasons that we see that difference. The one other thing that I would say about that is in employer provided coverage, you also have health insurance providers who are working with the hospitals and doctors to negotiate lower rates. So they're working very hard to make coverage and care more affordable for everyone. But we do have to address health care affordability in the United States. Oh, to say the least. I mean, it's insane. Um, and especially when people, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's funny to watch people in the United States mock Canada and Britain for their health services. Um, but, you know, you go into a hospital in Canada, it's all free. It's, it's, you know, I mean, you are paying for it through your taxes, but as far as the services go, um, it is a whole different ball game than we have here. Now, um, in a, you know, when you're talking about Medicare Advantage, that, that's a supplement to Medicare. And there, there are a couple of different kinds of supplements. So um, what these do, to my understanding, um, is pay the difference between what Medicare covers and what is left over the, the patient would have to pay if they didn't have that coverage. Am I correct? That's right. So Medicare Advantage plans cover more than what original Medicare covers. I don't know that every plan covers all the costs that original Medicare doesn't cover, but it does cover a whole lot more and for a very affordable price. You have Medicare Advantage, as I mentioned, which is Medicare Part C. You have prescription drug plans, which are Part D. You also have Medicare supplement plans, which are a little bit different, but these are more flavors of choices that Americans have that they can choose a plan that works best for them. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back. I have lots more to ask you about, especially what Congress is up to after this time out. Love and luck are in the air at Carson Valley Inn. Thousand dollar winners guaranteed every drawing night. Up to $7,500 every Saturday and $15,000 in grand prize giveaways Friday, March 31st. It's the Love and Luck giveaways at the Carson Valley Inn. Retail's impact on Nevada's economy? Enormous. 8,600 businesses, large and small, employing 145,000 workers. And last fiscal year, retail paid tax on nearly $60 billion in sales. We're the Retail Association of Nevada. We support retail, we help it grow, and we mean business. R-A-N-N-V dot org. Save money and take transit. Did you know you can ride the bus all day for less than what it would cost you for a gallon of gas? Plan your trip now by going to rtcwashoe.com. The Do It Right guys at Nevada Heating have one mission. Your furnace breaks down today, we fix it today. Why freeze for days while your furnace is down when Nevada Heating can get the job done today and you can get warm again? For nearly 50 years, locally owned Nevada Heating has been getting the job done right. Call today at 323-5585 and we'll fix it today. That's 323-5585 or online at nevadaheating.com. Imagine a magical garden that feeds Carson City's hungry and homeless, teaches our high school students agriculture, 
creates hanging floral displays to beautify downtown, and yet charges nothing. It's not magic. It's the Greenhouse Project. It's real, it's growing, and it needs your help. Go online to carsoncitygreenhouse.org so together we can grow it forward. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Christine Gross. She's with the Coalition for Medicare Choices. I have to ask you this question. Why do doctors, because um, doctors and hospitals are happy to take Medicare, not so much Medicaid, especially here in the state of Nevada. Um, why do doctors and hospitals take that if they're losing money on the deal um, versus what they would be doing if they were just doing di uh, dealing directly with regular insurance? So, so again, I don't know that I can speak to hospitals and doctors and how they make the the decisions that they make. I will note that that Medicaid rates are, are particularly low, so that has been a problem for for a lot of hospitals and doctors. Um, just you know, in in terms of getting payments that will cover the cost of the services. But other uh, than that, I, I would leave it to the hospitals and doctors to to comment on that. Okay. Um uh, Medicare Part D is the prescription drug coverage that came into effect uh, during the George W. Bush administration. Um, and it's been interesting to see uh, the difference between um, what your regular insurance company will offer as part of Medicare D, and now you have these competitors like GoodRx and Amazon Pharmacy that are coming in with much lower costs. How, how is this playing into to what you're looking at? Well, so the the one benefit of things like Medicare Advantage and Part D plans with Chauther prescription drug coverage is that they're negotiating lower prices with the pharmaceutical companies for all of the drugs that they offer, whether it's a generic drug, whether it's a brand name drug that doesn't have another competitor, whether it's a biosimilar or a biologic drug. So we're looking at a wide range of drugs, whether you're it's a drug that you take over the counter from the pharmacy, or whether it's something that may be injected or that you might have to receive in a hospital setting. So, you know, I think people tend to think when they think prescription drugs, it's just what they're getting from their pharmacist. There are a lot of other prescription drugs that need to be considered. Um, and the health insurance providers who offer Medicare Advantage and Part D plans are negotiating for lower costs for all of the services, as well as for the prescription drugs that people may need in, in the care that they're getting. Um, on these Medicare Advantage, plans. Um, are you able to uh, select your, the, the doctor of your choice and stay with them um, versus the other kinds of uh, Medicare uh, gap insurance that exists where you are able to, to stay with, you know, pick, pretty much pick whatever doctor you want? Medicare Advantage plans work a lot like um, employer provided plans that people may receive. Um, you can choose the plan that you're looking for. When you're making that choice, we do encourage people to look at the hospitals and the doctors that are in network and covered by that plan to make sure that you're getting the best value for the plan that you choose. And it's important for people to make that decision every single year. There's a, what's called an open enrollment period that happens from October until you know early December, where people can reevaluate their health care needs, the doctors they want to see, the hospitals they want to go to, the prescription drugs they may be prescribed to make sure that they're choosing a plan that covers as much of the benefits uh, for as cost-effective a price as possible. All right, let's take another break and we'll get to Congress after this timeout. Pro Group Management is the place where companies can find workers' comp solutions that are designed to meet their specific business requirements. As regulations evolve, Pro Group takes a proactive approach to clear the path to make sure your business stays ahead of the curve. Knowing your workers' comp program is optimized, you can focus on other important matters related to your growing business. Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. Early in the morning or throughout the night, professional truck drivers are on the job, serving you safely moving freight that's crucial to our economy. From the oldest industries to our newest innovators, from the exotic to the everyday, trucks are everywhere, moving everything. Never afraid to embrace a future that makes Nevada and our nation stronger. Trucking moves America forward. 
Hi, I'm Renee Summer, our digital news anchor here at 7 at 7. Watch our streaming nonstop newscast immediately with your mobile phone. 7 at 7 is the new way for you to get every bit of local news you need in just seven minutes. Breaking news, local neighborhood news, weather and sports are just a click away. Reporters bring you all of what's happening in the Valley from Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, YouTube and more. Get every bit of local news you need from the RJ and LVRJ.com. Modern Boutique Ahern Hotel and Event Center sits at the heart of the Las Vegas Strip. Two floors of meeting and event space are ideal for groups and conventions. Stay in one of 200 luxurious rooms and suites. Brand your event throughout the property. Flexible event spaces make for easy planning and personalization. Take over the entire hotel with a full buyout option. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Christine Gross. She is with the Coalition for Medicare Choices. All right, so what is Congress up to? Because I've seen a lot of press releases and some from your organization uh, with concerns about things that are going through Congress. So share with us, if you will. Right. So it's really more on the administration side in the White House that we're very concerned right now. Uh, the administration is making decisions about how they're going to fund and support Medicare Advantage for next year. And we are very, very concerned that what we are seeing proposed is going to result to cuts to the program, which means that seniors could see higher premiums and fewer benefits, which when you look at the Medicare trustees and what they have projected in terms of how health care costs are going to rise for all Medicare enrollees for next year, it's at a rate of about 5%. So that just means that that the support for Medicare Advantage is going in the wrong direction. I'm very pleased to say that Senator uh, Catherine Cortez Masto led a letter to the administration saying that it's a very important program that deserves to be protected and supported. And Senator Rosen also signed on to that letter. So we do appreciate those senators' support. What we're asking now is for Americans to reach out to the White House with that same message. Um, doesn't it strike you as kind of crazy that uh, going into this next election cycle um, that any administration uh, would be in favor of raising costs on seniors who are the most likely to go out and vote. I, I think that it, that is very much a concern. And in fact, our organization, the Coalition for Medicare Choices, did just finish a poll to see how senior voters feel about this issue. And the vast majority of them do feel um, they're unanimously satisfied with Medicare Advantage. Funding of the program is very important. Uh, a strong bipartisan majority believe that cuts to Medicare Advantage are unacceptable and that the consequences of cutting that funding to that program are dire. So it, it's something that we think really needs to be brought front and center in all these conversations. All right, to, to play devil's advocate here, one of the constant things that you have heard for decades is that Medicare and Social Security are going broke if we don't fix them. And so um, how do you look at that part of the equation um, at the same time you're trying to save you know, the funding for Medicare Advantage? Yeah, so when you look at the Medicare trustees report and when they talk about you know, the fund running out of money by a certain year, that is separate and distinct from the Medicare Advantage program, which I think it's important for a lot of people to understand. Um, you know, the other thing is that we think it's very important for, for folks to know that when seniors are choosing Medicare Advantage, they are choosing a plan and a program that is very cost effective. And in fact, when you compare Medicare Advantage on an apples to apples basis to original Medicare, Medicare Advantage actually costs taxpayers a lot less. We actually see that as good news because we're quickly getting to the point where more than 50% of those eligible are choosing Medicare Advantage because it provides better services, better access to care, and better value. So by improving on the care that's in value that is available, by helping people get healthier faster and stay healthier longer, by ensuring they have access to care that they need and negotiating those lower prices, that's the right direction. We need to improve on what's working for America. And Medicare Advantage is clearly working. Let, let me ask you this. Um, you know, we talked a lot about this during COVID where there were so many different things that were being suggested to protect people and their health. And yet a lot of the things that were very basic were not being done. For example, 
eating healthier, uh, exercising, things like this. Um, you know, is that something that, that your organization supports and promotes? Uh, because, uh, you know, we, we look at the rate of diabetes and um, people being overweight, I mean, and obese. I mean, those are causing so many medical issues in this country um, that could be not solved, but, but reduced, I think, greatly by just some common sense. Well, I think during COVID, we did certainly see a lot more people engaging with health, their own personal health and the healthcare system. A lot of the Medicare Advantage plans leaned in very proactively to cover the testing and treatment and vaccines for COVID-19 as they became available. So they were a really strong partner in overcoming the pandemic. We also see that Medicare Advantage plans are very focused on just the kinds of interventions that you're talking about, whether it's providing um, food that are that are better for people with a certain condition or a disability, pr providing access to wellness programs, fitness programs, even mental health programs to help them maintain their best health, uh, and counseling to help them achieve better health, whether that's for a chronic condition or another clinical diagnosis like obesity. These are all really important ways that these Medicare Advantage plans are both well plans in addition to sick plans. You know, we need to help our, our seniors get as healthy as they can possibly be and achieve their best quality of life. And we think that this is a really good way to do that. Um, one of the things that uh, I think most people know when, when it's time to uh, sign up for these programs each year um, is just how competitive this industry is. I mean, it is not a monolith. Um, do you suggest that people get involved with brokers to be able to uh, uh, work their way through this? Because I'll be perfectly honest with you, I could not possibly figure out um, my Medicare situation without sitting down with my broker. Brokers are really important, uh, a resource that ha people have access to, and these brokers are certified to understand how Medicare works and what Medicare Advantage plans are available in the given geographic region. So you have brokers as a resource. You also have a federal government website. It's medicare.gov, which has a lot of basic information about how Medicare works. It has a tool called Plan Finder that allows you to compare plans to make sure that you're choosing a plan that's best for you. You can also call up the individual Medicare Advantage plans that you're thinking about to get more information about what they cover and how they work to make sure that you are the most informed in making your buying decision. All right, so um, as, as you look at an aging society in this country um, that is remaining healthy, I mean, just look at our elected officials. I mean, if you look at Congress, uh, people are, including the president, are serving well into their 80s. Um, how is this going to affect the funding um, for Medicare and Medicare Advantage and regular supplement plans as we go forward? Funding and affordability, I think, are always going to be a conversation that we need to have. There are different ways to think about um, funding. Uh, you know, a very, very blunt instrument is simply to cut funding. And that's not really designed to help people stay healthy and stay well. People want a high quality of life and they want to be able to continue to do th the things that they love, be with their family and friends, see their grandchildren grow up. Um, we need to make sure that they have access to the services that help help them do that. So, you know, we think the better way to do that is to help people have access to these services, stay well, take advantage of the preventive care services that they have, uh, and just be able to stay as healthy as possible in the long term so that, you know, through these value-based programs and these value-added programs, we're reducing costs for the entire healthcare system. Um, do you have an idea of how many people in Nevada uh, are on Medicare Advantage plans? I do have that. More than 245,000 residents in the state of Nevada have Medicare Advantage today, and that's about 44% of those who are eligible for Medicare in the state. Yeah, and that's about a 12th of the population. So it's so a big it's, number. It's yeah. a huge number. Um, what is the outreach that uh, your organization and affiliated organizations do to reach out, especially into areas like rural Nevada, where people may not have as much information as they do in, in the more urban centers? Sure. Medicare Advantage plans in particular have been very focused on telehealth to improve access. You know, improving access is a very important challenge that I think we all face. 
More than 4 million uh, people who live in rural America choose Medicare Advantage plans because they, they do see that it provides them with the value and the access that they need. So solutions like telehealth, um, uh, like uh, additional workforce solutions to ensure that, you know, the different providers are providing as many services as they can, being creative in how we solve some of the workplace shortages. All of these are really important ways that we get to that answer to make sure that people have access. And that's where we have to leave it. Thank you for all this information. Good luck in your fight with the White House. Um, it's going to be fascinating to watch in the political ramifications of trying to cut any kind of Medicare services um, when, like I said earlier, so many seniors are the voters. Um, it's an interesting battle to take on. But that's where we have to leave it. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Snorkel personnel lifts are engineered beyond the industry norm to an uncommon level of safety and durability and with an eye towards sustainability. They're also designed to be simple to operate and maintain. Snorkel, always at the cutting edge of progress. With Nevada's only transplant center and verified burn center, the science is here. With award-winning cardiologist and the state's only dedicated heart failure clinic, the talent is here. With Nevada's most advanced robotic surgery, the technology is here. And with the Silver State's only designated pediatric trauma center, hope is here. All because we are here. UMC. Brian Culp of Photography was born in the rolling hills of Massachusetts, and now he can help you experience the stunning beauty of Nevada in a whole new way through the power of flight. Flying has always been a passion for Brian, and at Brian Culp of Photography, he can make your imagination soar. Brian has the creative mind and tools to tell your unique story. Experience the bird's eye view at brianculpaphotography.com. I'm here at the Carson Valley Inn in Minden with Joey Whitaker. One of the things I love about the Carson Valley Inn here in beautiful downtown Minden is CB steak. I have eaten here so many times. Tell folks what they can expect when they come here to eat. It's a beautiful room, great service. We have certified Angus beef, seafood, lamb, a great range of appetizers, and wonderful desserts. Jean-Michel's done a great job of selecting some beautiful wines for us. The customers love it, and we've got a great selection of cocktails as well. It's not a long way to get away to the Carson Valley Inn. What do you count on? You count on your power every day. At NV Energy, we've always powered what's important to you. But we're not looking at the past. We're focused on the future. While our standards are high, our rates will remain low. And our commitment to renewables isn't just meeting standards, but leading the way. Because you can count on more than just your power. You can count on the company who brings it to you. That's our promise. You can count on it. As always, you can watch Nevada Newsmakers 24 hours a day at NevadaNewsmakers.com. We'll see you on the next show.